Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tepper. This is Truck Mechanic Simulator 2015. Let's get back into our career as truck mechanics because, you know, it's all cool. All right, we are here. Our job is a Petro Bit 3X. We need to check the cylinder head, check the gasket below the cylinder head. Can't start the truck engine. It began to smoke. I'm afraid there might be something serious. You think? You, you think maybe that could be serious? 500. Oh my gosh. What is it? What? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I am not an independent contractor. That's got to be the thing. I am not an independent contractor. I think I must be working for the company that uh, that does this. Like the... the um, the, what are they called? The freight company, whatever. The, the owners of the company. Um, okay, that's that. Because that obviously has to all come back off. All right, can I take that off? No, I can't. Not without taking that off first. How is that possible? Uh -huh. All right, so let's pull that off. That off. I don't know why I'd have to pull that off to get to this. Oh, I do, because that covered that. Oh, got it. So it's a straight six engine, which is kind of weird, I think. All the truck drivers right now are screaming, it's not weird, you idiot. But, you know, whatever. I think it's weird. Uh, what's this? Oh. Can I take that off without? Nope, I got to pull out all the plugs. Each one individually. One plug. Do plug. I would think V8, especially in America. I would I would think V8. I guess maybe these uh, straight sixes would, uh, would be more fuel efficient. Oh my goodness! Bolts everywhere. The bolts. Silly bolt. So yeah, I must based on this price. This must be like what I get paid on a day. To, to do the work on the truck because those are some terrible 500 bucks. I'm basically tearing down an engine. That's what it amounts to. And I'm going to get 500. Okay. Now I have to take off that. Okay. Now you want me to take that off. Okay. Take that off. I take that off. Take that off. I take that off. Good Lord. Okay, get that out. Air filter out. Air filter housing out. Okay, that's you off. Your turn. Why can't I take that off without... I have to take that off. Okay. Duh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta take the whole exhaust system apart. Take the whole exhaust system apart. Are you kidding me? I do, don't I? Yep, I think I do. Ah, I'm inside the engine. No, I need to get to the exhaust. How do I get to the... How do I get back there? Oh, do I have to do it from the back then? Ooh. You, you, I need... Ah! Oh my goodness, camera. Camera issues. No, I can't. I want to go right there. Right there is where I want to go. Okay, I can see this being a problem here. All right, we're going to... Nope, I want all the way out. That's all the way out. Okay. Okay, what if I go down? How do I get the exhaust? How do I get the exhaust out of this sucker? 
Okay. Okay, wait. If I click on the various bits, does it it does move me down the line, right? So click on that bit, click on that bit, click on that bit. Aha! Click on that bit. Okay. Now what? Oh my gosh. These bolts? Really? Sweet. Uh okay. Developers? That's stupid. Oh my goodness. This camera. This camera needs to go. <laughs> uh Okay, there. We got that clear. Now oh my goodness. Can I get this? This. Wow. Wow on stilts, people. Wow on stilts. Ugh. Camera is terrible. <laughs> they did not improve that. I'm sad. Okay. Get out. Out. Bloop. Okay. Move that. I have to remove the entire exhaust. I'm getting 500 for this. It ain't worth it. Ugh, now I, got, oh, I need to go back up. 500. I should totally, I should totally say that you don't get the stacks back. All right. Oh, that's why, because it's actually bolted onto that thing. Okay. Yeah, all right. I would think I'd be able to drop that whole unit, at, but okay. Oh my goodness, can you imagine putting this back together? Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. All right, let's get rid of the cylinder head here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just a nut turning foo. I'm just a nut turning foo. All right, let's pull that head gasket off. Uh, let's check our inventory. Cylinder head is not bad, but the head gasket shot. Let's uh, let's see how much it would cost to repair that cylinder head. A hundred and thirty. Hmm. Did we actually hit the check the cylinder head? Check. Hmm. Okay. Let's see about this head gasket. How much is a head gasket? Get. Ah. There we go. Okay. Head gasket. Head ga Okay. That's only eighty. We're getting 500. Do we repair his his cylinder head? We're working for the man. We don't. <laughs> if we were independent, we would consider it, but we're working for the man. We don't care. All right, slap that gasket on there. Let's roll. Let's get that on. Get the cylinder head on here because I got to... Put this entire freaking exhaust system back together. Ugh. Who even thinks? Oh, you know, it's a good idea. Let's make it so you have to tear the entire exhaust system apart in order to get... Uh, just get, get in there. Put the valve cover on. Also, can I please have an impact wrench that just goes whoop and done? Instead of this clickety, clickety, clickety stuff, that would be a good thing too. Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's get this on here. Yeah. Once we're independent, you know, working for our for our own dime, then we can then we can uh, think about helping these guys out. But uh, no, put that in there. Put in the plug. Then we can think about uh, you know saying, oh hey, you know, for an extra seventy bucks. I'll totally go ahead and machine the head for you. Get that all taken care of. Then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. 
Alright, let's put that on there. Put the plug letters on. Exhaust manifold on. Okay. Put this all back together here. Put the turbo on. Bloop. So we're going to do everything we can in the engine compartment, then we'll do the exhaust system. Yeah, I can't put that on yet. So let's put that on to the airbox. Put the airbox together. Put the filter back. Put the top on. Oop. Flippy around. We got over here is the fuel pump. Yeah, that would be important. What we got here? What's this? Intake manifold. Yep, that would be a good thing to have. Intake manifold. We have to remember how this was done because you know we're going to have missions that put us working on this stuff more often. So if I think about it and I remember it, then it helps later. Okay, hose clamp on. What are you? You are the hose between intake manifold and turbo compressor. That's a, that's a very complex name for what I would call the intake hose. <laughs> it's like when an engineer makes something. It's like, really? Did you have to make it that complicated? All right, I think we have the engine back together mostly. Mostly. While that's going up, let's just check. Collector pipe, long, let's get rid of that. Yes, sell that head gasket. Yeah, okay, I think we're just on exhaust system now. Okay, put that on, collector pipe on. Long extended pipe, that's a very descriptive, I would call it pipe. Muffler US. As opposed to European. Oh, hey, hello. No, put that put that on. I didn't I don't know why. I, okay. Alright, now we have the splitter pipe. Or pipes coupled, as it says. Okay, put this guy on. L1. Why L1? Why are both of them L1? That's what I want to know. See? Both of them L1. Hmm. I think one would be R and one would be L. I mean, that's just a thought. <laughs> Stupid spot for these bolts. Don't make the camera go all the way up there if the bolts are down here. I'm just saying. All right, put that on. Bloop. One, two, and there. Whee! And... Boosh. <sighs> okay. I think. I think. Our truck is done. Let's find out. Woohoo! Five hundred all dollars. Thanks. Fine. Eliminate the problem. Ken Worst. One hundred K from nineteen eighty four. Something is rustling in the front wheels. Could you check it out? Rustling in the front wheels. Cows. Cows rustle. Also sheep. Sheep rustle as well. Uh, leaves come to mind. Leaves. Okay, I'm just going to say this. If you're a foreign developer and you want to go to the U.S. market, please, please, for the love of everything, find somebody from the United States or even from the United Kingdom, even Ireland, and have them check your translations, please. Oh my goodness. Something is rustling in the front wheels. Rustling. Ugh. Jeez. All right. Let's find out what's rustling in your front wheels. Get this all off of here. Boop -a -doo. It's very difficult because, you know, English is a very difficult language for somebody to learn. So I understand why it's potentially happening, but. Oh, please. All right, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, wait, let's check that stuff back there. Looking good. 
That looks good. I don't know why I can't look at that thing, but I can't. Nope. How about this thing? No. Okay, anything wrong with the things that I took off the truck? <sighs> no. Okay, so what we're looking for is something that looks overly rusted. Is there a bearing in here, by chance? Do we have a bearing inside the, uh, the front end of this truck? Let's find out. Let's take the front end apart and let's see what we find. I mean, something is rustling in here. We have to find the rustlers. They could be cattle rustlers and that would be a problem if this was a cow truck. Just saying. Put that off of there. Ooh, look what I found. I found a bearing. What are you? Uh, 10%? Well, we might have found our problem there. Let's go check the other side. Let's go ahead and tear apart his front end here. Sounds kind of wrong. Now tear apart your front end, buddy. <laughs> Doop. There we go. All right, get that off. Can I take this apart without taking the brakes off? I can. Ah. Actually makes sense to have a bearing in there. Can I take this off? I can. Cool. Come on. Come here. Ah, that one was also 10%. Can we repair them? I don't think you'd be able to repair a bearing, but no. Uh, while we're thinking about it, let's put this back on, though. Assembly mode. Put that on, please. Thank you. All right, we need two bearings. Kind of bearings. Internal bearings. Two internal bearings. They could also be infernal bearings, but let's just go with internal bearings. Internal bearing. There you are. Two of them. One, two. That's 120 bucks. How much are we getting for this again? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Working for these people. These people are terrible people. Uh, put your internal bearing on. Put your hub on. Doink. Put the thingy on. Semi-axis front. I don't think that's what it's really called, but all right. I'm not a truck mechanic. Well, yeah, I am. I'm a truck mechanic. <laughs> no, I play one on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think it's called a semi-axis front whatever. Drum. This thing has drum. All these things have drum brakes. That's amazing. Oh, tighten that up. Don't want to be responsible for losing a wheel on the road. That would be an unfortunate occurrence. There we go. That's that done. All right, put that on. Internal bearing on. Front wheel hub on. Semi-axis front. Locking in. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Put the brake drum on. Bloop. And then put the tire on. Bloop. I saw it go on in a sequence, but I couldn't register the sequence faster than the one that I tightened first was the first one on. That's all I got. Boink. Woohoo. All right. Did we finish our job? Yeah, we did. 250 whole bucks minus... Oh, good. I made $130 on this job. That's crap. Ugh. Let's see if we can do one more. Uh, uh, a Fright Shaker, Coco Jumbo. There is a belt squeaking in the engine. It wasn't replaced for a long time. Could you check it out? Sure. 170 bucks. You know what? This might actually be a decent price for this. Because <laughs> there's only one belt, I think. That one right there. Hey, you, get off. 13%. Whoo. Coco Jumbo, you done messed up. Just saying. Belt, is it B or S? Obviously, it's going to be S. Yes, yes, yes. There you are. 70 bucks. Okay. I mean, this is like a yawner of a job right here, right? 
So I'm like, you know, the price for this one is probably correct. Especially because it's obviously preventative. Boink. All right. I think that's good. I think we, we done did it. We done did it. Woo! That one was quick. Do you think we have time for one more? Let's give it a go. Perform a test drive, replace the broken parts. Because of this all holes in the road, my truck began to drive very weird. Please check out what is needed to replace. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my God. Okay. Because of all this holes in the... Oh, because of all the potholes in the road, my truck began to drive oddly or very strange or very weird. We could say very weird. Please check out what is needed to be replaced. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Let's go. Let's go for a test drive. Yes, I want a test drive. We have to test drive. Let's go. Oh, that's acceleration. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, this truck turns well. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. I have to replace that. Don't. No worries there. Brakes. Wow. Can we say wow? Wow, the steering is terrible on this truck. Steering cerebral on all trucks. Whoa. Alright, made it through the slalom. Time for the suspension test. <laughs> Woo, we made it. Wasn't too bad, right? Wow. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's hide, show the body. Show park condition. Let's see here. Ah, we, lost, we got that is bad, and that is bad right there. Wow. How would I know all of these things from just that run? Anything back here that we see that looks bad? No, the back looks good. It's just these steering pieces. So we're going to have to get in here. It's like both steering knuckles and that side piece. All right, got it. All right, let's do this thing. This shouldn't take very long at all. It's just getting this stuff off, which I think I can upgrade. So we'll, we'll look to do that next time. But this time we're going to get these broken parts out of here. All right, so we got that off. Um, I want this thing. Okay, can't do it from there. Can do this from here, though. Get you out of here. All right, that's that broken part. So that broken part I need to get to from underneath the truck. Let's do that. Well, that's going up. Can I repair the thing I got? Nope, sure can't. Botheration. Where are you? Uh, that part I need. Steering rod extension. Ah, okay. So our steering rod extensions were shot. Let's see if we can repair those. Nope. All right. So we need, uh, not that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. We need a shock absorber front and two steering rod extensions. All right, so let's get back down to the S's here. Shock absorber front, yep. Uh, two, two steering rod extensions. Oof, that was expensive. Okay, we need to put you in assembly mode right there. Put that on. Wait, 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 wait. 
goal right there. Wickle, 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 goal. Drop it like a tot. Drop it like a tot. Drop it like a tot. Like Alright, enough of that. Put that on. Beak. Do, do, do. There's plenty of other things that we technically could, you know, repair. But again, we're working for the man. We don't care. I mean, we probably should, but we don't. And boosh. What does this say? Did we hit it? Replace the broken parts. We missed something. Ugh, really? Ah, there's something red back there. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Didn't see it. I don't like working in this uh, weird colored view, but I probably guess I should. That off of there. I wonder if the other one's okay. Ugh, I don't want to take the other side apart. Let's hope it is. Pop that off. Pop that off. Okay, we should be okay there. Can I repair that? That would be really sweet if I could. Nope. We're not going to make any money on this job. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm looking for a wheel hub front. Sell it. Wheel hub front. Wheel hub front. 200. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so unfair. Can't believe it. Well, I mean, it is technically somebody else's money, I guess. I mean, if I'm working for somebody, it's obviously their money. I wouldn't out of my own po pocket. Well, that's not true. Potentially, you would have to, I guess. Okay, put the drum on. Put that on. Oh, let this be all. I don't think I can afford anything else. Jeez. Working for working for the man kind of, you know, sucks, honestly. All right, let's see if that's it. Yeah, we did it. All right. Truck Mechanic Simulator 2015. I've been Derek Tubbers. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Uh, next time, we'll figure out uh, what our next truck is and see what we can do about repairing it. Until then, remember... I'm the best truck mechanic simula simulator player. I'll, I'll, I'll fix your truck for you. I promise. As long as it's color-coded with damage.